going to be showing you how to create a log screen in Visu Plus Express. Right now, I have a new project open with two basic screens opened up, and I have an emergency button on screen one. Today, we're going to be creating a data logger that is set to track the amount of times that this e-stop button would be turned on or off, assuming that it's an emergency stop button for some type of machine, and we'd like to see how many times it was turned on or off throughout the day, week, however long we may be tracking. Right now, I have the e-stop button sitting on the screen alone, so what we're going to do first is create a variable to go with that e-stop button. We're going to come over here on the left-hand side of our screen to our Project Explorer. About halfway down, we see Real-Time Database. We're going to right-click, create a new variable, and we'll call this variable e-stop. We hit OK, and you now see that it has created our e-stop variable under the Real-Time DB tab. We click and drag that e-stop variable and drop it right onto our e-stop button. We've now connected that e-stop variable to the e-stop button. Now that they're connected, we're going to come up here and switch to our second screen. And we're going to add our actual data logger window where we're going to see the data that we're attempting to log. So if we come over here into our toolbox on the right-hand side, at the very bottom under Objects, we'll expand that. And you'll see right here near the bottom, Data Logger Window. We click and drag that onto the screen. And once it's on, we can adjust how big it is and move it around a little bit. So we'll make it a little bit bigger and center up a little bit. So now that we have our e-stop button with the variable and our data logger screen, we need to create an actual data logger to connect to our screen. So if we come over on the left-hand side into our Project Explorer again, we'll see here at the top, Data Logger and Loggers and Recipes. We right-click and hit Add New Data Logger. Now you'll see here right under it as created a new data log. If we click on it and move our mouse away, we can rename it. We'll call it our e-stop log, and we hit enter. We have now created a new data logger. To now connect that data logger with our e-stop button, we need to come down under variables and find our e-stop variable that is connected to our e-stop button. We click and drag that up and drop it into our e-stop data logger. The e-stop button is now connected to the e-stop data logger, and we now have the ability to click and drag our entire entire data logger into the data logger window. We drop that in and it's now connected. The last thing we're going to do before we run the simulation is make a, one change to the e-stop log. So what we're going to do is over in the Project Explorer again, if we double click on our actual e-stop data logger, it's going to bring up the properties on the right hand side. There's a lot of things you can change in here, but the thing we're going to change real quick is when the, the data logger records. Right now we have it check to record on time frequency and we don't really want that with it being an emergency stop button we would like to see how many times it's hit or how many times it's turned on or off so we're going to uncheck the record on time frequency and we're going to check records on change so it's going to record anytime there's a change in how the button is working so if it's on or off and again this can be changed depending on your application but for this demonstration that's what we're going to do so if we come up here to our green check mark and apply those changes we can now come up into our project simulation, save our project. We hit OK, and we now see on our second screen we have our data logger window, and on our first screen we have our e-stop button. So I'm going to click it four times here to turn it on, off, on, off, and now if we come over into our second screen, we see here in the data logger window that it has recorded the date and time and the zero means it was off and the one means it was on, you see our e-stop button right there. So you see if I come back over and turn it on and off again and come over and refresh, you see it adds those two recordings. So every time there would be a change in the nature of that button, it's going to record it in the data logger and you can check it whenever. So we'll come up here and exit out of our simulation mode. And that is how to create a data logger window in Visu Plus Express. 